impiego di minime forze. Ah. Herein, io quest'uomo l'ho già visto qualche... Oh no. Jim, Joe, fix it. There's nothing we can do, Grandma. Yeah, a piece of junk finally went down. I mean, all we can do now is pray. <laughs> Amen. Sweetheart, that's blasphemy. Yeah, sure. This is the only reason you invite us over, anyway. Jim! What's it doing now? No, now it's dead. As in, no more. No, that can't be true. My show is on at 7 p.m. You can make it work. No, no, it's impossible, Grandma. We can't fix it anymore. You need to go get a new one. This is America. Yes. Nothing is impossible. But Grandma, we're going to get you a new TV. I don't need a new TV. Just repair this one. Listen, we're going to get you a new, giant, big screen TV. Well, uh, the show is at seven. So then, hurry now. Hey, hey, genius. Did the heat melt your brain or what? Where are we gonna get a big ass TV? Chill out. Just relax. We'll go Italian. Peter, take Mitzi to the dog park. She needs some attention. Sorry, no can do, sweetheart. Peter, we talked about this. Do it now. And Peter, don't wear out old Mitzi. You know her heart condition. Come on, Mitzi, we'll find you some company inside. Come on, they got great electronics in there. Come on. Better than the dog park, I promise. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I told you we'd find something for you. <laughs> Great, huh, Mitzi? <laughs> Mitzi, wake up. Oh, no, wake up, Mitzi. Mitzi, wake up. Help. 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 Can I help you, sir? Oh, man, don't tell me the dog is dead. She's dead. It's her heart. She loved too much. I understand. I, I feel sympathy for your pain, but what are we going to do about your friend? We oh. have to carry her out No, now. sir. Not possible. Okay? We are not carrying a dead dog through the showroom. No. Not going to happen. It's Mitzi. So, okay, sir, listen. We've got to keep this on the down low. That was bad. Just a very bad idea. Promising Grandma a TV like Mrs. Quacks. Relax. I got it all figured out. I got a plan. Yeah. I know all about your plans, Gotti. I get the revolver. Again? Whatever. Wait, wait, look at this.
smell something funny? Stop picking on me, brother. It's like a dead rat, or actually more like a wet dog. Just stop, Jim, just stop it. I told you, washing my hair, it's out of the question. I'm trying to grow out my dreadlocks. Capiche, old man? When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Cops! Cops! Joe! Screw it, we don't have time for this. We're taking a shortcut. Adios, senor! <laughs> Excellent driving, Joe. That was really nice. So, what are we gonna do now? We've got a whole 10 minutes. Perfect. We're like three miles away. We just take the box out of the truck and carry it the rest of the way. <laughs> 15, Charlie, copy. What is it, Susan? Your wife called the station. Dinner's ready. Negative. I'm code five on something big here. Are you sure? She made your chili rellenos for tonight. Ten four. I'm on my way. Clear. <laughs> gonna kill us. We're ten minutes late. Yeah, well, if uh, somebody would have walked faster. Hey, I'm not the genius who got us stuck in the desert. Hey. Hey, how in the hell did Jim? Don't swear. It just needed another good kick. We just got you a brand new mega screen. Why don't you go outside? You smell like two wet dogs. Should we take it back to the store? Are you kidding? The cops are onto us. We'll just carry it back to the truck and figure something else out later. Mamma mia, forget about it. I'm not carrying that thing anywhere. We need to destroy this evidence, do you understand? Too bad. TV had a lot of potential. What a waste. We should pray. Joe, we can only pray for a person, not for a TV, remember? That's a big no-no. Eagle shit. 
people pray for horses and stuff, don't they? Yeah, and they pray for dogs. But that's because they have souls. It's okay. I'm praying. 